Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, I wish I was sitting in my yellow chair in the school library and looking at your smiling faces as you sit on the rug uh, to listen to our book for uh, the week. But we'll make the most, most of the situation and I'm going to read to you on video today. So I'm gonna read a book today that I've been saving it's a new book, I've never read it before to y'all. And I thought it was really special when I got it. And I've had it behind my desk for weeks, maybe months, waiting for the right time to read it. And I think that now is the right time to read it because we're all a little anxious. We're all maybe a little scared because we don't know exactly what's going on or what's going to happen. So, this book might help with that because it is about a bookmark. A bookmark is the main character. His name is Max, and this is Max on this bookmark. And I actually have bookmarks for you back at the school library. So when we go back to school, uh, remind me, and I will give you one of these bookmarks. And so something you need to know before we read the book is, that it it is about um, some tips from the Navy SEALs. The Na I don't know if you know who the Navy SEALs are, but they're a special group of uh, our military. And they are called in when things are especially tough and, um, and we need some special help to, to take care of a task. They're the bravest, uh, men and women that you'll ever find. They're the most physically fit. They can take care of anything. And their tips are in this book. So I think if the tips are good enough for our uh, Navy SEALs, then they are good enough for us and maybe we can learn something from that. So let's read our book. It's called Get Me Out of This Book. And it's the subtitle is Rules and Tools for Being Brave. It is by Callie Dacos and Deborah Cholette, and it's illustrated by Sarah Enfant. Hi, I'm Max. I'm a bookmark who used to be scared to death of books. The pictures freaked me out. When I was put on a page with a king cobra, I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed, get me out of this book. But no one heard and I was trapped. That's when I snapped and went back to school for a special bookmark badge. I had to learn how to handle the scariest pictures in the scariest books. My trainer was tough. He taught me rules and tools for looking right at scary. Then he put me in a book on a page with a shark. It had giant white teeth and it was swimming toward my face. I could almost feel the bites and my heart went ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed. Get me out of this book. And then I remembered number one of the rules and tools. Breathe deeply. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now you do it. Breathe in. Breathe out. 
I kept breathing and breathing and breathing and breathing until my heart slowed down to ba-boom, ba-boom, ba-boom. And I could look past the teeth to the eyes of the shark and say, you're just a picture and you can't hurt me. Creepy was next. When I was put on a page with hundreds of cockroaches crawling toward me like an army, I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed, get me out of this book. And then I remembered rule number two of the rules and tools. Make a plan. I decided to think up a song and to sing really loudly. Macaroni, macaroni, one, two, three. You're not real and you can't hurt me. I kept singing and singing and singing until I was able to open my eyes very slowly and look right at those cockroaches. That really is brave. The next book was Haunted. I was put on a page that was darker than dark and I knew spooky dead things were hiding there. I couldn't look and I shook and I screamed, get me out of this book. And then I remembered number three of the rules and tools think good thoughts. I will get through this dark page, I said to myself. If other bookmarks can do it, I can too. I couldn't see anything at all, so I decided to practice. What would I do if a 10-foot skeleton came out of the dark and was ready to attack me? I'd punch him. Then I'd watch his bones fall apart into a pile on the ground. They would look so silly that I'd start laughing and laughing and laughing and laughing. <clears throat> when I stopped practicing, I was still all alone in the dark. But I realized that the good thoughts were right there to help me. <clears throat> I graduated from bookmark school and I loved my special bookmark badge. I had learned rules and tools and now I wanted to go into the scariest pictures in the scariest books. <clears throat> Before long, I found myself in a closet, a dark closet, a locked closet. I was trapped inside with a monster that had seven hairy heads. I wanted to freak out. Then I remembered that I had rules and tools and I knew what to do. I started to breathe deeply, deep breath in, deep breath out until I was feeling calm. I made a plan. I stood up very tall and pretended I was not afraid. I thought good thoughts. I could do this. I could handle this. I would be all right. I looked right at the 14 eyes in the seven heads. One head was looking up. One head was looking down. One head was looking halfway around. One head was screaming. One head was trembling. One head was closing its eyes. And one head was sobbing, big gooey tears. And that's when I realized that the big hairy monster with all those heads was afraid of the dark closet too. I yelled at the heads, don't be afraid. Tomorrow, someone will turn the page in the book 
and you'll get out and everything will be okay. And then I knew that I would be okay too, even in the scariest pictures, in the scariest books, because the rules and tools really work. So that's the story of Max, the bookmark, who was scared until he realized he had rules and tools that he could use to help him be brave. So I hope you remember those rules and tools. Number one, say them with me. Number one, take a deep breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Number two, make a plan. Always have a plan. Our school has a plan. Your family has a plan. And number three, think good thoughts. Not bad thoughts, not sad or scary thoughts. Think happy thoughts until we're all back at school together again and we can read together in the library with me sitting in my yellow chair and you sitting on the rug and listening. So I hope you enjoyed our story time book for today and uh, we will see you back, Max the bookmark and I will see you back in the library very soon, I hope. So I miss all of you and I hope you're reading. And I know what some of you would ask if we were in the library right now. Some of you would be saying, is that an AR? Is that an AR? Can I take the quiz? And guess what? This book is not an AR. It's pretty new. And I think they just probably haven't made the quiz yet for it. So we'll take the quiz when it comes out. But I hope you enjoyed the book and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time on our YouTube story time. Bye-bye.